because he wanted mm -hmm. okay and uh, this depend uh, also about uh, the new parliament structure how it will be goes and how will be the relation between uh, field marshal cc and uh, the new parliament how it will be structured what is the figures and so on hopefully the new parliament will have new blood will have new figures will have new uh, younger uh, generations will have new experienced professionals who are willing to serve their communities are willing to serve the country uh, if we have like what happened in 2012 that a focusing of specific uh, Faction. factions to appear like say uh, businessman faction or uh, uh, businessmen who, who are going to replace the Islamists yeah so in this in case we are repeating the same party. mistake right uh, like what you said if CC is to become you just talked about it in our uh, the beginning of the program you said if he is to become president once he wants to make a fresh start uh, he should make a real uh, political fresh uh, start in for the roadmap and he needs to make sure to distance himself from the uh, the, the the cronies or the crony capitalism of yes. uh, mubarak's era and he needs also to know that economy will be the uh, lifeline and passport for his success as a president or his failure because people or the public are increasingly of equal impatience to his uh, their great sense of expectations are very high for him as uh, in tenure in uh, as a president and also not because of that because they have been under stress for full fledged three years and they've yes. been suffering and they need to see an outcome for the martyrs and the efforts that they have exerted and the women who have stand long, stood in long queues to have vote to make 50 in the government of the government right. from women <laughs> so they they they're hopefully they're strongly waiting for an outcome yes but they would be very harsh also in their uh, judgment actually um, to have an outcome there is some decisions that may be taken by the government or the executive authority uh, that will not be very appreciated by the society, like uh, cutting the subsidies, uh, increasing the taxes, mm. uh, increasing some uh, laws or penalties, and so on. And this can be reflected when they uh, started to make uh, uh, taxes on the stock market in Asia. Maybe it is required, but the timing was not so good mm. because uh, our stock market, it is our international door to uh, absorb new or external investment inside the country. Mm. So if you are raising new taxes, this means that you are the reducing the profitability of your stock market. We have to put in mind that we are not the only stock market in the region. Mm. Okay, and there are other a lot of stock markets. Okay, so putting such type of taxes now even if it is required, I don't see it so uh, wise. Increasing the cost of fuel, yes, we need it, but what I recommend for the government is to be patient enough for a couple of months until we have some kind of uh, stability in our market because the fluctuation of uh, stock market prices, the fluctuation of uh, the Egyptian pound against other currencies, uh, the increase uh, of uh, different goods and supplies in the markets this all of this are burdening uh, the citizens mm -hmm. in the same time uh, if you want to put taxes you have to increase the income of the citizen so when my income it goes increase, without saying <laughs> yeah i can pay tax but if i am already burdened enough and my income is very weak and my expenses is very high and you as a government asking me to pay more taxes, I don't see this is uh, the right time. So what I will see is that the president will go for uh, mega projects or national projects which will absorb unemployment resources, mm. undeployed resources, and which will encourage uh, investments uh, to build uh, new industries, to build new uh, uh, cities like the million uh, apartments they were planning to do mm. with the support open of... Open new the venues. Yes, to open uh, new doors. So to refresh the economy. So there's different tools to refresh the economy. So his priority uh, after the security, of course, will be refreshing the economy. 
after refreshing the economy, it will start to have its own cycle. So the investor will start to put money, the workers will start to work to get wages, so the government can take taxes. But if you start by the taxes before the cycle of the economy is refreshed, this can uh, hold on uh, the time to refresh the economy. Right. Um, of course, besides his unprecedented popularity, um, the elect president Sisi is just another um, president who comes to rule Egypt with a military background after three different uh, presidents who come with a military background. So he must be obliged to make sure that he can be committed to the following, the, to be allowing space for his opponents to work actively to um, avoid the dogma of the era of Mubarak and all that is related with that uh, story of the entourage of uh, Mubarak and uh, uh, people had the only option when it came to the ballot boxes they didn't even have an, uh, an option uh, he must also produce a manifesto with tangible ideas to the people and how to improve the state of economy and social welfare like you said otherwise he will be uh, facing very very harsh criticism in spite of his uh, popularity. So how do you read those important points? And do you think the newly elect president is, uh, is going to be heeding uh, these uh, advices from any presidential advisor who is going to present it to him? As intelligence officers, they used to hear more than they speak. Mm. And they used to Which is what we need. Which we, what we need. Which what we we are in dire need for that, by the way. And in the same time, they used to analyze information. So any piece of information, for them, this is an asset. Mm -hmm. OK? Uh, but the idea, taking decision, he may take the decision, but you don't know. OK? So we maybe have an issue with transparency. Mm -hmm. OK? Uh, this means, as you said in the beginning of this session, that he needs a, a political interface. So his advisors or his cabinets or his team he mm -hmm. should have a political uh, interface that can reflect his effort and that can reflect his plans and uh, reflect his work and make some kind of a negotiation channel with the society. But if he continues to, to do his marvelous work without having a link with the society and depend on the media, I don't think this will be working for a long time because he need a, a formal speech to be direct to uh, the society and the people that we are having this problem in our economy and to solve it we have to do one, two and three and four. We are have problem with human rights due to this, this, these violations and it will take time until we uh, resolve it. So he have to create a team who are responsible to make a political interface with the society. He have to make sure of transparency which is not his um, favorite points, and this is reflected in one of his conversations, I believe, with uh, Lamis Al Hadidi when he said, uh, when she asked him about his plans, he said, We are not used in the military to tell all of our plans. This is true in the army, but now you are a civilian president. You have to make some kind of transparency with the people so mm. they can work with you and they can know where they are uh, heading using the same old concepts that the government is the mother and the people are the kids, uh, mm. it is not uh, successful as we see, okay? Because it is a matter of uh, sharing responsibility between the president, the government, and the people. And he said in his speech that I will give work and effort, and I will need from my citizen work and effort. On equal foot. So, it is the time that everybody to fulfill his promise. And mm. we work parallel to each other. Ah, so we are working together, not isolated from each other. But don't you think, uh, according to uh, Mr. El Sis, is a former post in the government and as an intelligent officer, a former defense minister, that would give him access and good grab of uh, economic realities and other strategical uh, issues important of high value he could also uh, be handling the best with the security file and other very very critical uh, files that could be very difficult for any other president and could be also at the same time the backbone for or the foundation 
for any developmental process. Do you think this post would qualify him for a better president, or is it his character, his well-built character, that qualifies him, regardless of his post? The character are impacted by the position, or the post that mm -hmm. he used to be. Okay, so everybody have a learning curve or experience curve or de de uh, developed during his uh, experience life. So I think he have a lot of experience in the intelligence. And this is what we need now. Mm. Okay, because if we look our priority, we need security and stability, then economy. Without security and stability, we cannot develop our economy. So I sure. think he is the best man to make sure of point one. The economy, he alone cannot do it because he need the civilian sector. He need different stakeholders. He need support from the society. And this is totally different from the military because in the military, if you are an officer or a soldier, when you are asked to do something, you have to do it. You are not obliged to do anything else. Mm -hmm. So if we said that all the workers have to go from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. every day and work daily night, not everybody will do it in the civilian life, okay? But in the army, it is totally different. So this is when he need more civilian flavor, more civilian interface, who are aware by how to encourage the economy from the civilian point of view, okay? Mm -hmm. So acquiring uh, advisors or experts in the economy, and I believe we have a lot in our society, mm -hmm. uh, especially from outside, who lived or worked outside, I think this will be a great advantage. Acquiring business uh, Egyptian investment